Hi YouTube, this is Lester Verano here, and thank you once again for joining me for another video. Uh, this is going to be a one-year uh, review uh, video of my Filson Trifold wallet. Uh, I did a full video review on this wallet about a year ago, and I've been carrying it for one year. And uh, I want to let you know uh, how I've been experiencing the wallet over the last year. Uh, for those of you who didn't see the original video, I'll uh, leave a link for that in the end of this video if you want to watch that. So, um, I'm really excited to do this video. Uh, I've actually been waiting uh, to be one year away from that first video so I could do this. Um, and I've got to tell you, um, I have a lot of competing thoughts right now about what I want to say about this wallet. But the, let me start with the first thing. Um, this wallet uh, has fulfilled for me um, one of the one of the big things I wanted and I hoped for uh, when I purchased this wallet was that it would develop a certain look and it has done just that. Um, I don't know if I'm I'm trying to get the best lighting in my apartment that I can that will just to give justice to this how beautiful this wallet has come along. Uh, as far as the, how the, the patina has developed. Um, but as you can see, it's got like a very rich brown it's shine to it. I would say it almost could uh, almost come into like a bronze look. Um, if you compare what it looks like now to the first video, you'll see um, how big of a difference uh, there is uh, between the how the wallet looked in the first video and now. And I have actually, uh, the only thing I have done uh, to bring this wallet along uh, to develop this way is I've used a little bit of Chamber milk, Chamberlain's uh, milk, leather milk on it uh, along the way. Uh, this is really great product right here. I love this stuff. I love the bottles it comes in. And uh, I've used only these two products, uh, the cleaner and then the uh, leather care liniment. I've used those, uh, I would say, over the last year, I've probably taken that leather milk out three or four times and gone over the wallet with it, which is probably excessive. Um, but other than that, uh, it's been developing uh, a lot of the character um, that it has just from my daily use. Uh, you can see, you know, it's got all the little marks in it and stuff from being in my in my pocket um, with my keys. And uh, over this last year, it has showed me absolutely no signs of fatigue, uh, no signs of uh, wearing out anytime soon. Uh, I believe in my heart uh, this wallet will outlive me. Uh, it will still be around and still be usable when I'm gone. And uh, I believe it to be a, hundred, a 50 to 100 year wallet, depending on how you use it. I think you can get that many years out of it. it just showed, it's showing me absolutely no signs of um, getting tired. Um, the stitching holding is holding up great. I particularly like this design. Uh, so it has been a joy functionally to use, but really the visual appeal of it has been has been freaking awesome. And um, I'll tell, I'll share with you. I had a guy at a restaurant make a compliment about my wallet. Um, I was pulled out my wallet to pay for a meal, and the uh, the cashier said, "Wow, no, I really like that wallet." And when he said it, I could hear it in his voice. He really meant it. Um, and that is because uh, the video is not doing enough justice here, but this thing has really developed a nice, a really nice patina. And, and that's just, you know, one of the big reasons I, I bought this wallet was because I had hoped for a certain look. And uh, that is absolutely um, what's happening here. This thing is just developing it's such character. It's getting its own uh, patina that's, you know, it's, it's its own special patina that's, it's, there is no other wallet like it. And that's why I think it's the best wallet in the world, not only because it's functional and durable, firstly, but secondly, is it just develops into such an absolutely uh, handsome uh, piece over time. And I look forward to seeing how this is going to look in five or 10 or 15, 20 years if I'm still around. Um, you know, all of the natural chemicals and oils that were used in the process of tanning the um, leather here. This is bridal leather. 
is coming, those oils and those natural chemicals are coming to the surface. And uh, there's a lot more of that to come. And I'm just looking forward to taking care of this wallet and uh, using it every day. And it's my main wallet. And I'm proud of it. And I, for those of you out there uh, who are subscribed to the channel that love leather and uh, just love good quality, everyday manly products, I uh, just wanted to share this with you. I figured you'd appreciate the video. And, I, and uh, thank you for those who took part in the first video. And uh, thank you for the new folks that have come along and subscribed. Really a nice little boost. Uh, it's a nice confidence boost to see people subscribe to the channel. After all, you're subscribing to me. And um, I like you know, I like that. That's, that's awesome. So, um, thank you for those subscribers who've stuck around or have either have stuck around or have been uh, too tired to search through their list of, of people they subscribe to, uh, to find and remove me. But, uh, thank you for, uh, being lazy. Anyway, I appreciate you being here. Uh, thanks for checking out this quick one year review. Happy to see you in the next video and, uh, be safe out there and peace and, uh, bye-bye now.